Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this disturbing case, honey. And once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? I keep telling y'all there is something wrong with that state. Y'all keep saying, T.T., you mean, don't be going in on our state, okay? Y'all the ones having zombie attacks and people's faces being eaten and shit, okay? I don't know what the hell's in the water in Florida, but something is going on down there. I don't, I don't know what type of demons is roaming around Florida, but damn, honey. Um, anyways, what's going down is that we have a 19-year-old Florida State University sophomore. His name is Austin Haruf. And basically, it went viral yesterday that he fatally stabbed two people. They were in their garage, chilling, watching TV. You know, they do this every night. They were husband and wife. And all of a sudden, he came out of nowhere. He did not know them. Um, he came out of nowhere, started attacking them and stabbing them. And one of the neighbors heard their cries for help and they ran out there to try and stop him. He then turned around and started attacking the neighbors. So the police were called and by the time the police got there, he was there eating on these people's faces. He was eating them like a wild animal. This story is so damn disturbing, y'all. I'm like freaking out just even talking about this. I want y'all to go ahead and check out these news clips. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. 911, you need fire, police, or medical. Please, and medical. And medical on the line. It's late, sir. Don't, don't, don't open that. Don't open that. Fire rescue. What's your address? Young man beating up a woman across the street. Okay, are they outside or in a house? It's in a garage. Okay, can you tell if he has any weapons? Um, I think he had a knife, but I'm not positive. Okay, can you tell if she's injured or he's injured? Say again? Are, are either of them injured? Can you tell from where you are? Yes, there's a girl laying on the ground. He beat her up. I ran over there. I'm bleeding profusely here at the moment. Okay. I don't know what happened. All right, can you tell stabbed. if she's conscious or is she unconscious? Say again? Can you tell if she's conscious? No, it does not appear so, no. Okay, and how? what kind of injuries do you have? Uh, I've been stabbed in the back. Uh, with and a then, knife? Yes, I believe so. It was tough okay. to tell. Okay, you couldn't tell how long it was or anything? You need an ambulance? And please, yeah, we're quick, sending please. them. We're sending them. And where is he? Is he yeah, I think in the he's area in the garage, still? Right okay. across the street from my house. All right. What's your name? Okay. All right, we're going to get the paramedics right out there. Sir, sir, what did the guy look like? Was he white, black, Hispanic? He is white. You know how old he is? About 25 years old. And what was he wearing? Um, shorts and a T-shirt. Do you know who he is? I have no idea. Does he live at that house, or? No, he does not. Does the female look familiar to you? Um, I believe it was the daughter of the house that lives over there. I'm not positive. Can you have your wife or... I don't want you moving if you've been stabbed, but I, can you have your wife or someone look out and see if he's still there? Um, I don't know. See if that car is still there, honey. He, it appears he's still there. And you, you said you, you definitely saw a knife and that's what he hit you with in the back? No, I did not see it, but my wife's looking at my back and it appears I got punctured. Yes, Dad. In the neck, in the head. Three. Three puncture wounds. Okay, we got units en route, okay? Okay. All right, just call us back if anything changes, all right? No, don't 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 put that on me. All right, I'm bleeding pretty bad. So okay, we got we got an ambulance and everybody in route. Just stay right there and stay calm, okay? Okay, thanks. All right. The deputy, when she arrived, observed uh, our offender on top of the victim, our male victim, who was uh, laying on the uh, driveway leading into the garage. She immediately uh, closed the gap between herself and that fight and uh, deployed her taser. When she got there, she realized that the offender was actually uh, biting the victim in the face and causing uh, what turned out to be some substantial trauma to his face from bite marks. Live.
The one and only Local 10 News starts right now. And developing off the top this midday, morbid murders. Two people are dead and another person in the hospital. A man was found biting the face of one of his victims. And Local 10 News has just learned one of those victims is indeed the daughter of a former South Florida mayor. And we have live team coverage for you this midday. Local 10 News reporter Jeff Wines here is in our newsroom with what we know about the victims. And Local 10 News reporter Michael Seiden is standing by at St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach where the survivor is being treated. So let's start things off right now with our news reporter Ben Kennedy. He is live in Stewart where deputies have just given an update on exactly what happened. Ben. Christy Constance, the sheriff's office does confirm the murder suspect is 19 year old Austin Haroof. He is a student at FSU. It took four deputies using tasers, a canine biting Haroof to take him down after deputies say they found him actually biting one of his murder victims. It does look inexplicably as it sounds like a completely unprovoked and random attack on two people that were sitting uh, in their open garage. Two people were killed and another man was hurt after deputies say the suspect, 19-year-old Austin Haroof, was found biting the face of one of his victims. When she got there, she realized that the offender was actually uh, biting the victim in the face and causing uh, what turned out to be some substantial trauma to his face from bite marks. The gruesome murder happened in the driveway of a home along southeast Kokomo Lane. It's there a neighbor heard screams and ran to help but was stabbed by Haroof. That neighbor was reporting he had been assaulted. He had been stabbed already, and it was clear that after investigation, he had gotten injured attempting to intervene in the uh, assault that he saw taking place. Two people were killed. A husband and wife were found stabbed to death as the sheriff now questions Haru to find out the motive behind this crime. She used her taser. I shot the suspect with the taser. It did not work. She took a hold of him and tried to pull him off, but uh, he was exhibiting abnormal uh, levels of strength. Had and that murder suspect, Haroof's blood, is being tested for flocka and bath salts. The sheriff says he was known to carry a very large switchblade. He also pointed out that the murder suspect, Haroof, had or has no connection to those victims. And as for who those victims are, I turn to Jeff Wines here. Ben, there is an unfortunate South Florida connection to this story. WPLG TV has learned one of the people killed in that Martin County attack last night was Michelle Mishkan Stevens, who grew up in North Miami Beach. Her husband to the right of her, the other victim, is John Stevens, who grew up in Southwest Miami Dade. Now, anyone who grew up in North Miami Beach or lives in North Miami Beach clearly knows the name Mishkan very well. Michelle was a graduate of North Miami Beach Senior High School, the class of 1981. She has four brothers and sisters. Michelle's husband graduated from Miami Killian. Michelle's father is former North Miami Beach Mayor Jeff Mishkan. Mishkan has been the mayor of North Miami Beach for over a decade. He was also very involved in North Miami Beach Optimist as a coach for years. Local 10 spoke briefly to the former mayor this morning. To say Mayor Mishkan is devastated is an understatement. Anyone who knows this man right here, Jeff Mishkan, knows he is never at a loss for words. But this morning he was barely able to speak. Michelle was his eldest daughter. In North Miami Beach, there's a park named for Michelle's mother, Pat, who died back in 1997 after collapsing of a heart attack. The Patricia Mishkan Athletic Field located just east of the mall at 163rd Street. Patricia Mishkan was an organizer of the annual Special Olympics in Northeast Miami-Dade. Again, at this hour, Local 10 News confirming one of the people killed in that Martin County attack last night is Michelle Mishkan Stevens, the daughter of former North Miami Beach Mayor Jeff Mishkan. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Jeff Weins here, Local 10 News. All right, Jeff, so hard to hear. Our team coverage continues in West Palm Beach. And that's where the survivor of this disturbing crime is recovering after being stabbed. And Local 10 News reporter Michael Seiden is there right now with his condition. Michael? Uh, Christy, minutes ago, got a chance to speak with the father of that surviving victim. He's 47 years old, and right now he is inside the trauma unit after his father tells me he was stabbed 
three times in the back. Now let's go to that crime scene from overnight. Again, this father identifying him as 47 year old Jeff Fisher. He tells me that his son late last night went out to walk the dog. He lives right across the street from where this all happened. He heard a commotion coming from the garage. He rushed into the garage and that is when he saw that 19 year old suspect going on the attack. His father telling me that he believes his son was actually hit with a whiskey bottle before he was stabbed multiple times. His son rushed to this hospital. Obviously, he is being treated as a trauma patient. Very serious condition, but he is expected to survive. He was laying on the floor, um, bleeding pretty badly. Um, it was a little scary. Twice here, once here, which was almost close to the juggler, and then three small wounds in the back. He's trying to break the fight up, and um, the guy turned on him. Back out here live, another look at that 19 year old suspect who investigators say is a student at FSU. Again, he is being interviewed. The motive is unclear. One more thing about Jeff Fisher. I am told that he is married. He is the father of an 11 year old girl. Again, at this hour, he is recovering inside this hospital. We are All right, so you guys just watched the news clip. When I tell you there's a lot of, you know, to me, there's a lot of demonic shit going on in this world. This world is getting scarier and scarier. You know, I also find it funny that his ass wasn't shot and the police, they made sure to clear that up. But we couldn't shoot him because he was in close proximity to the victim. Yeah, okay. Uh, she deployed her taser. She used her taser. I shot the suspect with the taser. It did not work. Nothing was working. They were using all the force that they were able to muster physically. I think the question's gonna come up later. Why did they not shoot uh, the suspect? I can answer that right now and save you the question that the angles were extremely dangerous and had there been a gunshot could have hit the victim. Let his ass have been black handed. He'd have caught four bullets to the dome. How you doing? Because I've noticed, you know, the other black men who were on some zombie shit in Florida, they all got killed. You know what I'm saying? And then also there was one black man. They claim he had superhuman strength. I had talked about this a few years ago and he was running around acting crazy and all this other shit. They shot his ass on sight, honey. They was like, fuck that. We not here for zombies or werewolves, bitch. But with this one, you know, he's eating somebody's face. So nine times out of 10, the person ain't gonna survive anyways, but y'all choose not to shoot him. Oh, okay. Must be nice. Anyhow, y'all choose not to shoot him, but yet and still the black man who was trying to protect somebody who was, you know, basically mentally ill, y'all had no problem risking the mentally ill man's life and shooting at the black man. But in this case where somebody's face is half being eaten and they probably gonna die anyway, y'all don't shoot this man. Okay, must be nice. Must be nice. Anyways, you know, I find the whole situation really disturbing and my heart definitely goes out to this family. Everything I've heard, the family was a good family, just a regular normal couple, very friendly. You know, Florida's warm, so they would keep their garage open. They had their garage decked out, and they would just sit out there and, you know, chill and speak to their neighbors. You know, that's just very scary to be one minute sitting there with your wife watching television, enjoying the sunset, and then the next minute you have some crazy stranger in your garage attacking you like a fucking wild animal. It's like, what the hell is going on here? You know, and people are saying that it might be bath salts, it might be flocka, and I've seen videos of people doing flocka, and that shit ain't no joke. You know, it's like these drugs are even getting more powerful and more scary and more crazy. And the fact that people are willing to take drugs like this, it just makes no sense to me. You know, so either that young man was on drugs or he was demonically possessed, but something ain't right. That is just creepy and it's scary. And this is like literally the third case from Florida with somebody turning into like a damn zombie and eating another human being. I mean, this is just like really, really sick. I just don't understand what the hell's going on in Florida, but this is the shit that nightmares are made of for real, for real. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.